Welcome to Rose Kitchen and Garden. So today I am, of course, I'm meeting you after a long time, and today I'm going to make a northeastern speciality, which is a pork recipe. It's a black sesame pork, which my friends Namrata and Radhika both make it, and they both make it really yummy. Um, I tried to make it with chicken a few days ago, and um, though I liked the recipe, though I liked how it tasted. I thought I should add some twist in it because sesame seeds, uh, this is black sesame pork. So sesame seeds give it a very, uh, it's tasty but um, it's just on the same level. I wanted to have like a little burst of flavor so I'm going to add something uh, which, okay, you'll see when we start the recipe. So. Let's go and make our black sesame pork with a twist. Okay, so let's start with the ingredients. We need, I have 500 grams pork here. Um, then I have around 6 tablespoons of black sesame seeds. I have 4 green chilies. I have 4 green chilies. I have uh, 1 and a half large onion it's fine cut this is a paste of 15 uh, dry red chilies soaked in warm water and that and then we fine grind it into a paste this is um, two teaspoons of turmeric and this is um, ginger garlic paste which is around I think four yeah, it's 4 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Um, that's all that you need to make this and of course mustard oil. So mustard oil is around 5 tablespoons. Um, but I have, like I said, I am going to use the gongura or uh, ambadi or roselle leaves. This has got a very nice sour taste to it and trust me when the black pepper gives it like a uniform taste uh, not bland but very like umami flavor very very standard like plateau taste the ambadi or the roselle gives it like a burst of flavor because it is so sour in taste so use very sparingly but do use it it takes it to another level and i also have had some fresh spinach leaves and growing in the pot so the when it's rainy season uh, like this the worms get to it very fast so before they get to it you can see these tiny holes here so I thought before they devour the entire spinach uh, crop I should add it in everything that I can so I'm going to add that and I'm also adding some fresh coriander leaves from the garden after I finish making it so what we are going to do here is we are going to toast these or roast these sesame seeds on a pan and then crush them um, and in the meanwhile I will pressure cook this pork till it's kind of cooked uh, with uh, one and a half cup of water. So that's that I'm going to start pressure cooking and I'm going to start toasting the sesame seeds. Here I'm going to add this pork in the pressure cooker. And I'm going to add around uh, one and a half cup of water. You see, as you feel is required for your pork to cook. Okay, so 
I think less than one and a half, maybe three fourth only I've used. Three fourth cup of water, and I've kept a pan here, and I'm going to add uh, sesame seeds to toast in it. So let's add this black sesame seeds and let's let's toast them. Now they're going to splatter, and to avoid that splattering and all of the sesame seeds going here and there. I'm going to cover it with this when I'm toasting it. You can use whatever you want. Let me now close the lid for the pressure cooker. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Please add some salt to this while it's cooking. Also, okay. So add some uh, mustard oil, around four to five tablespoons, and let it come to a smoking hot uh, stage, and then you can add the onion. Meanwhile, here the sesame seeds are cool enough for them to be ground into a fine or coarse powder, is as per your wish. So here. See how you want it. Yeah, I think this is fine enough for me. I'm going to switch off the gas and cover it and keep so the flavor doesn't, um, the oils that give the flavor doesn't fly off or evaporate. <laughs> you can see that there's smoke coming out from this uh, mustard oil. So now at this stage, I'm going to add the finely chopped onions and I'm going to start the exhaust, sorry. Next mix, add your green chilies. Please slit them or cut them otherwise they start popping in the or hot oil and they start bursting and you might hurt yourself. Now I'm going to also add the ginger garlic paste to this and I'm going to stir this till the onion becomes nice and brown. Sorry I'm holding the camera because my tripod is uh, I don't know something it's off balance so I will come back once I scrape out all of this remaining ginger and garlic. The smoke is kind of pressure cooked and looks almost done here. After the onion is little soft I am going to add the turmeric powder and um, for it to be absorbed in our food and in our body without go uh, saying black pepper goes in next. It goes without saying actually. <laughs> So if you want the turmeric to be absorbed well by your body because the curcumin is very hard to be absorbed by the body. So if you add little black pepper, it improves the absorption of turmeric in your body, right? So I've added that and um, I'll fry it some more. So the raw flavor of ginger garlic uh, goes away. So I will wait some more and fry it for some more time. You see the onions are nice and soft. I will add our chili paste. Uh, this is a paste of around 15 chilies, dry chilies. You see how spicy you want it and you can reduce it or increase it as per your taste. This is not Kashmiri chili, this is the spicy variety of dry chili. Okay? So I'll fry it once again and then I will add the pork to this. Now traditionally people won't add this stock along with the pork pieces but I will add because I feel when you add the stock along with the pork pieces all and let it boil off, let the stock boil off, I feel the masalas stick to the pork or the meat better. So I am going to, so I have added all the stock along with the pieces and now I will let the stock boil off. Our pork is boiling off. Uh, the stock is boiling. I also tasted for salt and I adjusted some salt in it. Now I'm going to add the leafy greens at this point and give it a nice mix. These leaves are completely optional. You can first, for the first time, try it without these Ambadi or Roselle uh, leaves. I've also added spinach because, like I said, it was growing and it's good for health. So I thought, let me just add it. 
you can skip it completely or like me if you also want to have that uh, sour taste to this oh then you can go ahead and add the uh, rose leaves so now i'll wait for the water to evaporate and then i will add my sesame powder after or the stock is evaporated a bit i will add all the sesame powder the black sesame powder and i'm going to give it a nice mix and now it's done I'll just sprinkle some fresh coriander leaves from top, and we are done. Hi, so I hope you liked today's recipe, and you are going to definitely try it out, just the way I have made it. And um, if you did, you know what to do. Uh, and also, do not uh, forget to leave a comment in the comment section, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you. Bye.